Hi everybody! This video is going to be about adding titles and credits. So basically the first thing you need to do of course is open up your project. Then you need to open up the Essential Graphics tab. If you don't see that, you need to go up to Window Workspaces and just reset your panels. Sometimes that happens when you're working on editing. And then you'll look through this tab here and click Essential Graphics. Down here, you can see that there are lots of different options for titles and credits. So you'll scroll down and to see what you might like. Uh, some of these big ones here, uh, if you scroll over, you can see what it looks like. Sometimes they'll clog up your computer or clog up your project. I pick something simple, but it's up to you. Um, let's see, how about, gosh, there's so many to choose from. I think for mine, I might just choose something like this. So what I'm going to do is I am going to click it and I'm going to drag it onto my timeline. I'm going to put it on the line above. I'm going to put it on video two line and put it right here. So I'm going to rewind that. I'm going to expand this so I can see it. I don't need the space in front. Um, but I think what I'm going to do, if I want to, I can put it down here. I can move my blue line right there and then I can see my title working right up here okay so there that's what it's going to look like and it'll say title episode so if I want to see that better I'm going to drag this down so I can look now I'm going to double click that and I'm going to type in what I want to call it and I'm going to call it intro video double click Amy okay so I think I may actually put the year on there. You can call yours whatever you want. It can be a day in my life or uh, this is about me. It's up to you. I'm just going to make it simple. Okay, so now I'm going to rewind it. And then I'm going to click the play button. Let's take a look. Great. Now, I also need to decide how long do I really want this to be up there. So if I want to rewind it, and I'm like, okay, I'm just watching this film. Probably that's enough. So what I want to do, I'm just going to go get my razor tool. I'm going to clip it. The other thing you can do is, if, if you do that, you can just delete what you don't want. Whoops, I deleted the wrong part, actually. I want to clip it and delete this one. So I'm going to select it. I could delete that part. Another thing you can do is there's another tool you could use. And it's when you hover, you'll see this. You can actually shorten this to what length you want or duration you want it to be. So now let's play that and let's see what it looks like. There we go. That's fine. Okay, so that's two ways to edit. Then I've got all this space in between here. Um, I'm going to work on that a little bit later. I'm going to go ahead and do my credits. So I'm going to go to the end. And I'm going to go back to my essential graphics. And I'm going to browse. And I'm going to find a credits that I want to use. I don't have a lot of credits for this film. This one would work. Um, that would even work for credits. That one's fine. There's lots of choices that you could use. Pick something simple. These are really, really clogged. It'll clog up your project. So, oh, maybe I'll put this one in. I'm gonna drag it right in there, okay? And then I haven't saved yet. I'm gonna control S to save. All right, let's scroll through here and let's check it out. All right, so here we have all this information. So if I double click, on this, you can see that all of these layers come up. Company Presents, that's what this one is. So if I want to call it um, Intro Film, then I could change this line. I'm triple selecting to change it. Now, let's say I want to delete some of these. Maybe I don't want all this. Story by, Director of Photography, Music by. This is a nice one because you can actually Featuring actor, actor, actor. Okay, so featuring featuring Amy, and then you can just delete the rest. So you can alter this, it's kind of nice. Or you could say, oh, film title by film director. So fill this out, it's kind of handy. Save my work. Now let's say um, I want to change the size. So all of the things down here allow you to change lots of things, such as the size of your film, text. You can change the font. Warning, sometimes all the fonts don't work. 
sometimes you'll get one and it has like a corrupted file and just if it, if that happens choose a different one okay so let's see you can choose regular or bold you can put it to the left center you can do all kinds of things to it you can even make it rotate that's advanced stuff i'm it's up to you if you want to do all that kind of stuff whoops cancel so there's a lot of things you can do you can also change the color and i know that's one thing most people want to do so fill is the color that is the fill of the, the letters. So let's say I want these to be red instead. I can use this and I could go and I could choose the red that I really want and then I would click OK. By the way, every color has a number. Sometimes what I do is I make a Word doc or an Excel sheet and I keep the number on there, but you can always go check it later. OK, so let's see what that looks like. There we go. Now it's some funky red color. OK, so uh, you can also change the shadow of the of the letters. You can alter all kinds of other things. There's so much that you can do. Um, you can rotate your letters. There's other things you can do. For example, in effects controls, you can actually change a lot of things. For example, motion. If you want to rotate your you can rotate it. So play around with these, but it's not a requirement, okay? So don't feel like you have to do fancy stuff for this, okay? I usually just keep my videos as simple as possible, unless I'm specifically doing something where I want to do uh, some special effects. Okay, so that's adding titles and credits. So, oh, and then I forgot to preview that, so let's preview it see what it looks like. I mean, it's not finished. You get the basic idea. Okay, so that one, it comes up really fast at the end. So if you wanted to change how fast that comes in, you can you can alter some of the things in here. Okay. Um, but I wouldn't worry about that so much. I would just focus on getting here what you need. And also you want to make sure that your, your titles and credits stay up long enough for people to read it. So this one I'm going to extend out. So I just hovered. Until I saw this little editing tool and then now I can play it to see make sure read it to yourself quietly so you can see if it's le it's being up there long enough also a lot of times these things are pretty small on the screen so if there's something really important I'd make it bigger make sure that you credit the music yourself for filming or whoever helped you film your story whatever uh, who's in it uh, maybe locations that would be fun so, and then keep saving your work as you're going. The other thing you wanna do is transitions probably. And so I will just show you here how to do transitions, even though I'm gonna film that a little bit later. Might, we'll see. Um, okay, so actually I'll do that in the next video. So transitions will be in its own video. Okay, thanks for watching.